up guys, it's good to here, and today, um, this is obviously, as you can see from the title, my top 10 games of 2016. Now, with 2016, it's been kind of a mix of emotions for me, because there have been some bad games, there have been some other games... Uh, there have been some great games, actually, and games that were, that didn't necessarily live up to the hype. Um, so, and I'm pretty sure most of you are going to be pretty surprised at what I've listed in, you know, my top, t top 10 games. Um, because most of you won't really expect, um, what I've listed, so, yeah. So, without further ado, um, my number 10 spot on my top 10 games of 2016 is... Now, I know that most of you probably already knew that this game was going to be on the list, mostly because of the fact that um, I've been hyping up Dragon Ball Universe 2 a lot on my channel. Well, not a lot, but on one video. And, I'm not gonna lie, I really, really love this game. And to be honest, um, I don't regret every single moment that I've spent with this game. Because, this game was a truly enjoyable experience for me. It was a, it was definitely a big step up from Xenoverse 1. And, although... This game could have done a lot of things that Xenoverse 1 could have easily done. Um, but with Xenoverse 2, um, I feel like most of our wishes got fulfilled in this game. And I'm not gonna lie, I really wish that Xenoverse 2 could have came earlier in the year. But, you know, they had to put any extra time and stuff. But I did give this game a decent score, so check out the review if you haven't already. So, yeah. I have to say though, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, I glad, I'm glad I put it at number 10 on my list. I really am. Nine on my list is a PC exclusive, and it's called Shadow Warrior 2. Now, I made a impressions video on this game, and I have to say, um, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I really didn't like this game when I saw it gameplay on it on YouTube, but the more I played with it, it was it was actually a really amazing game, and I have to say, I love it. I really, really do. And I believe this game is going to come out for consoles sometime in 2017 for PS4 and Xbox One. Um, for you PC users, though, you can go ahead and get it, like, right now on Steam and stuff. So, yeah. I have to say, Shadow Warrior 2 would have been much more lower on the list, like, maybe number 5. But I had to make this number 9 just because of the fact that, although it was a fun game, I... I wouldn't really consider it the best game, but I have to, I really do love this game nonetheless, so, yeah. On number 8, we have Mafia 3. Now, this is definitely a game I didn't think I would have to put on my list, but I had to because I have to say... I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Now, while a lot of critics say that this game is very repetitive and, you know, this game isn't all that fun to play, I haven't really played it all that much myself, but seeing that as that I um, put this as my 8th game in my top 10 games, I might do so more. And from the gameplay, as you can see, the gunplay is pretty awesome. Haven't finished the story yet, so yeah, I really like this game and deserves a spot in my top 10 games. It really does. Number 7 on the list is Watch Dogs 2. 
Now, unlike its predecessor, Watch Dogs 1, Watch Dogs 2 is, actu is actually really, 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 really fun. And honestly, this is, if you want to play a game where you can hack and stuff, buy Watch Dogs 2. There is the first game, but ignore that because Watch Dogs 2 is obviously the clear winner. Mainly because of the fact that 1, it has a better cast, 2, it it's more colorful and more bright, and 3, that it's much more fun to play through. So I definitely recommend Watch Dogs 2 for you to buy, um, you know, and stuff, and definitely deserve the spot on my list, so yeah. Number six on the list is Batman the Telltale series. Now, I have to say though, it was a blast playing through this game, and when I played that final episode, oh man, it was, it was amazing, I have to say. I really never expected Telltale of all game companies to, you know, make a Telltale game, you know, Usually their games are about storytelling, and while Batman is more of an action-based type of thing, they somehow manage to weave it in very, very nicely, and still have the action that Batman always had. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of hated this game before, but when I saw gameplay, I knew I had to play this game. And I also had to wait for episode 5, which was kind of a long time, and, you know, stuff like that. I played through all the episodes on my channel. You can go ahead and do so and watch it if you want. But, yeah, I have to say, I really, I'm really glad I put this game on my list, because I really, really love this game. It's awesome. Up in number 5, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Now, I wanted to do a stream on this game and basically beat the game, on, well, this was on PS4, um, way back in the start of 2016. But unfortunately, um, the reason why I couldn't uh, continue recording it was because of the fact that it had block scenes in it. So I really couldn't um, finish the game start, by fin start to finish. And that really made me upset, and at the time, I didn't have a capture card. And if I really wanted to, I could have gotten the game on PC and just completed it. But at the time, I didn't have my PC back then. That was until August, until I actually got it, you know, the end of August. But I have to say, I love Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Farro. And it really holds a special place in my heart as one of the best anime games of all time. So... Yeah, really love this game. Ah, uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies. But to be honest, the real reason why I added this in was because, well, here, you're gonna see. <laughs> Yep, you pretty much heard me and my friends practically just scream and scream because of the new map revelations. Well, because we, I got the Thunder Gun and the, my other friend got the Prothican Servant. But I have to say, Black Ops 3 Zombie Mode was honestly the highlight of, um, of Black Ops 3 this year, honestly. I can count it as 2016 because all of the DLC was released in 2016. And I'm not going to lie, the best map for me was Revelations because of all the nostalgia in that map. And this was put pulled from my stream, so you can watch it out if you want. So yeah, definitely deserved a place in my spot because of zombies, you know. Believe it or not, guys, this game was going to be pushed under the rug because it was most likely going to be an honorable mention. I didn't even want to put it on this list. The reason why is because this game has been speed run so hard.
by someone who beat it in 30 minutes. You heard me right, people. 30 minutes. Someone actually took the time to beat this game in 30 minutes, which is unbelievable. And I have to say, though, it's not a bad game, but it is a game that you're gonna have to take your time with if you really want to get the most out of it. Um, the game follows, you know, the princess from the first game who has grown up to be a young assassin, while another character is is the guy from the first game. I forget their names, but you can actually play as one of them. They have different abilities too, so that's cool. And the uh, the person that you pick, the other one, will actually get set in stone, and, and it's basically like a rescue mission from there on out. And it's kind of stupid that they made you know a plot like that. They could have gone for something better. I really wish they did, but I guess it deserved a spot on my list, so yeah. Alright, now, before I start, this is just my opinion. The only part of Infinite Warfare is the zombies that I really, really like. I have to say, though, Infinite Warfare Zombies was not was, was a, a big surprise, to say the least. I really didn't think Infinity Ward would do something like this, especially given the you know, background with the recent Call of Duties where, you know, it's very dark and gritty and stuff like that. Well, I have to say, I really like Infinite Warfare Zombies for its look and style and its gameplay too. So, I really felt like it had to have a spot in the list. As a separate game mode, of course. So, yeah. Just, just saying. Yes, this may come as a big shock to everybody, but as number one on my top 10 games of 2016, I decided to add Dead Rising 4. The only reason why I decided to do this was because I played the game like quite literally an hour ago, and I realized how fun it is and how enjoyable it really is. Although it doesn't have that charm that the other Dead Risings have, this is a fun Dead Rising to play, you know, for shits and giggles, I guess. But, yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. So, that's all my games. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, Future Me is currently working on this video so hard right now. Pause. Um, because, apparently Future Me, uh, well, past me, decided to slack off and not make not make this video at all but um guys this video took me quite uh, future me is probably saying well yeah that's the video and i hope you enjoyed and hopefully in 2017 there are going to be some even more awesome games that i can hopefully bring onto my channel so uh yeah um hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me tell you guys this took a while to edit so please please give the video a thumbs up even share with your friends or possibly possibly subscribe whatever you want to do it's all fine by me but yeah give the video a dislike if you want to i don't know i don't care you know but happy new year and i'll see you guys later in 2017